Good morning, Syntax. So, as you know, I'm a little bit into podcasts. This past week, I've been catching up on Lingsusiasm, a podcast about linguistics by Gretchen McCallick and Lauren Gown. In episode number 58, A Fun-Filled Fricative Field Trip, in the passing statement, Gretchen mentioned how all English words starting with the V sound are of French origin. I have never really heard of this, and Gretchen said it in such a matter-of-fact way that made me want to dig a little bit deeper into just how true that is. Uh, this rabbit hole about English V words has led me to many Wikipedia pages that I had no idea existed, but are nonetheless pure gems for linguistic research. Who'd have thought linguists would be drawn to Wikipedia editing? Really, who would have thought? So starting with simple but common V words, Vacation, French. Vegetable, French. Very, French. Village, French. Vinegar, French. Volume, French. To lesser used words like viscous or vulnerable, vengeance, ventilation, apparently all French. So I guess Gretchen was not kidding. Almost all V words in English comes from French. Putting on my linguistics thinking hat, I was wondering why this would be. Why are all the initial English words of French origin? It is not like English does not have the V sound. Plenty of other English words has the sound V in it. There are words like drive or leave. They're of Germanic origin, but they do exist in Old English. Is the V sound in general a result of language contact with French? If so, what is so special about the word initial position in Old English that prevented the initial words? Turns out, with some digging in the book chapter, Middle English Language Contact by Herbert Schindel, the author helped me solve this puzzle. The author wrote, The Middle English phonemization of the voice fricatives v and z, which are allophones of f and s in Old English and did not occur in the initial position, is at least partly due to the new English slash Latin loans with the initial v and z, which led to the development of new minimal pairs like fairy versus fairy, seal versus steel. This development may also have been facilitated by initial fricative voicing in native southern Middle English dialects. There, now we know, Middle English doesn't use to treat f and v, f's voiced counterpart, as two separate phonemes. There were once allophones of the same phoneme that rarely occurs in word initial possessions. Through contact with French, new minimal pairs were established, and voila, we get the word Viscount. Okay, so when I was writing the draft of this Manny, I keep forgetting English words that starts with vs. I was like, Vsauce? Is that an English V word? Vsauce? <laughs> anyway, I hope this was in some way kind of entertaining and definitely about French. Um, so yeah, see you next week, Syntax. Bye, have a good one.